in three, two, one, go! Qualification match 60 underway here in Bethesda. Highlight Robotics heads over to their cargo ship. They decided not to put a null hatch panel onto the robot here. A little bit of a different strategy here. Well done, Highlight Robotics. Once again, these null hatch panels, the ones that have the white dashes on them, those do not add any points to the alliances when they are on the cargo ship. I like Robotics opting to place a cargo instead of a null hatch panel. As a result, they get extra points. Blue Alliance now has a slight lead, 20 to 19. Calvert Steamworks placing a hatch panel there for the Blue Alliance. Triple seven zero, our rookie team here for the Blue Alliance placing cargo into the cargo ship. It's a one point match here. Blue Alliance just ahead of the Red Alliance. For the Red Alliance, I like dropping some cargo into their rocket ship. These two alliances are neck and neck for cargo and the cargo ship. Blue Alliance now makes it five versus four for the Red Alliance. Here comes I Light with another cargo for the Red Alliance. That'll make it five versus five. It's still a close match, 34 to 32. Blue has the lead. Red Line's doing a good job of putting hatch panels on the rocket ship. On the far side there, Red Line's has placed hatch panels on all three levels of their rocket ship. With 30 seconds to go, it's a three-point match. 1885, getting ready for a level three climb. Oh, and they're on their side. Highlight Robotics flipping over on their side. Little center of gravity issue there. Blue Alliance has three robots parked right now. Red Line's still moving around with six sec seconds left. 62-39 trying to launch themselves up. Time expires. We'll be back with your score for qualification match 60 in a second. One. And here's your score for qualification match number 60. Blue Alliance takes the win 52 to 39. With that win, our rookie team, 777 goes up to ninth place.